Good morning, everyone. I wanted to uh, uh, update you. We now have over 500 subscribers. This is very exciting, very exciting times. Uh, as of the time of this video, we currently have 537 subscribers to the channel, to City Tutoring. I very much appreciate you all for having registered and being interested in mathematics. So the, the plan this week is I'm going to make a short video now because there, there was a I witnessed something terrible. Well, terrible in not in a news way, but something that really hurt my eyes as a mathematician. And I could tell that students who were going through this procedure were not being exposed to the fundamental truths that I told you in my previous video. I gave you, uh, I made a video recently describing the fundamental truths that you can learn about. So, and, and I only gave you just the tip of the iceberg. I didn't even get deep into it. I just gave you some examples of some truths that you can use for linear equations. But I wanna thank all my subscribers because thanks to you, the motivation is there. And this channel is just gonna keep getting better and better and better as time goes by. But the, the equation, I'll show you what, what happened. So as I told you, I tend to witness I tend to travel a lot and witness a lot of classrooms because I'm interested in seeing how students are learning math and all of that. So the irony about all of this is that the instructor, and by the way, I do not want this to be interpreted as an attack on any specific instructor. I am just uh, discussing a method here. But the instructor, the method that the instructor used was a, a specific method. And here was the equation, the context was, x over three equals x. So the instructor correctly pointed out to students that a lot of students make a mistake here because they start doing something like this. They say, oh, I'm gonna cancel out this. And now I have one third equals one, right? Which is absolutely bonkers. So that was kind of the context from the instructor and why the instructor chose to to say that in these equations they tend to be uh, they tend to trick some students. So I'm going to go and show you how the instructor solved it, and then we're going to talk about the fundamental truths how you can solve this in less than ten seconds. So the instructor said we need to set this equal to zero. So he said if I do that, we're going to move the x to the left side. So we now have x. Uh, well, actually, he said we can move, we set this equal to zero, so we have x minus x third equals zero. And then from here, we have to factor, so we take x, so zero equals x multiplied by one minus one third, right? He, and the instructor derived this from this second line here. Then, okay, I'm already getting tired. Then zero equals x. And then if we multiply this, then we get uh, times two thirds. The instructor it, at, no, at no point explained where the instructor got two thirds from, but you're supposed to when you're doing your steps. Zero equals x times two thirds. And then they said, okay, now I'm going to have to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, three halves. So I now get three halves times zero and equals x times two thirds multiplied by three halves. And then he said this, wow, this disappears, true. Now we have three halves times zero equals uh, x, three halves times zero is zero, zero equals x. Now, is this logically consistent? Yes but it's absolutely not necessary for you to do all of these steps. And I could tell that the person who was presenting this was not a mathematician, of course, and was not aware of, the, uh, of what I showed you in the fundamental truths about equations. So have a moment and to, and to digest it. Already, it, it really hurts my eyes to watch this. But logically speaking, yes, logically, it's logically consistent, but it's not necessary. So let's do it now. The a different way based on what I told you in my other video of when you have a fractional equation, when you have fractions in your equation. So 
By the way, the instructor was an engineer, not a mathematician, just to clarify that. And they know they are not the same things. So this is the original equation. All you have to do is realize that when you have a fraction, you multiply it by the denominator and it makes the fraction vanish. And of course, you cannot play favorites with equations. What you do to one side, you must do to the other side as per the axioms. So therefore, three times three. Boom, this disappears. X equals three X. What did we say in my previous video? If a linear equation shares a factor or a common term here is X, automatically zero. Automatically zero. So X is equal to zero. Done. Took me less than, actually five, less than five seconds to, to figure this out. And the students need to be exposed to these kind of things so that they become more productive in their manipulation skills. You need to be able to recognize forms when you're doing equations. The other method is, is it's way too long and it makes students, I've always said that if you're using way too many steps, then you're not really understanding the process here. So I hope this was helpful because again, this is another example of how you can use the idea of the fundamental truths of the common factor and, set, and it, that it becomes zero. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll be doing more videos like this in our, in our series on equations that equation solutions that hurt my eyes. Thank you for watching.